Hello and welcome to a brand new series of videos, the Cream Tea Podcast. I am Alex Ridgely and this is Elizabeth Ridgely. Okay, so we're going uh, to start off with embarrassing stories. Go on, eh? Uh, embarrassing stories. If you haven't, I've got one. Um, uh, um, right, you start yours and I'll think about them. Alright, okay, so... Um, as a Christian, and I'm I'm not I'm pro-choice, so any atheists out there, go screw yourself. Um, uh, no, no, I'm pro-choice. Um, I just messed up my hair. Um, there you go. Um, basically, I went to a Sunday school sort of workshop thing, and it probably wasn't even on a Sunday. And there was a big hall, and then outside the big hall, where the parents and grandparents and old people used to collect their little children, there was a set of toilets sort of like two doors, and there was this one door that was unusually sticky. Bearing in mind that I was four... Some kid had jizzed all over it. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth, it was a Sunday school, I'm pretty sure. No. Yeah, okay, some kid had just thought, ooh, the Virgin Mary. <laughs> okay, so... Um, okay, so... Uh, having some sort of praying session, but they had the best biscuits. So I'd eaten all the biscuits, and naturally I needed to take a dump. So, <laughs> so, so I went to the bathroom. I keep on messing up my hair. I went to the bathroom. Okay. Thank you, makeup person. I went to the bathroom and did what I had to do. No details needed there. And I, I came out. And then I suddenly realised, oh crap, the door. But I, I think I hadn't got to the door at that point. And naturally, when I got to the door, it was stuck. So I was looking around, and I had a very inventive mind at that point. But I was looking at the bars on the, there were bars on the window. What sort of human trafficking? <laughs> who was that guy who raped children? Jimmy Savile. What sort of human trafficking Jimmy Savile establishment was this? <laughs> so all right, so there were. It was but, the cast for Jim will fix it. Yeah. Um, so there were bars on the window and I started to... Oh, yeah, I cried. Okay. I was pretty upset. I mean, you know, I was going to die and, and my grandmother was never going to see me. I didn't give a shit about you, but... Um, was that even alive? Yeah. Oh. If I had enough, okay. If I had, if I, if I was old enough to think about what I'm about to tell you now, then I think you were alive. Yeah. Um, and so I looked around because I was like, no, pull myself together. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to think of a way to get out of this. So I was looking around and I saw these two. You know, you know, sort of like outside of school. It wasn't quite a wheelie bin. It was a bin oh, yeah, on yeah, four yeah, wheels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know why, but I was thought it like one, like one of the sanitary towel bills bins. I don't know what that is. I know what I'm talking about. You don't. The audience probably does. Okay. Tweet me if you do. I don't have an audience. So. But, um, yeah, so I, I, I don't know why, but I thought, okay, well, okay, let's think back to medieval times. They used battering rams. So let's <laughs> take this bin away from the, away from the thing and then ram it into the door. Okay, so... I can imagine what they were probably thinking in the hall. And the Virgin Mary sort of bang, <laughs> probably echo through the hall. Bang, bang. Um, uh, so what they did was they sent the most, like the most weepy kid in the world, to go and rescue me. And naturally, he could open the door. But when he opened the door, I was in mid-reverse. So I couldn't see over the bin. So I was thinking, right, I'm gonna really go for it this time. <laughs> And I was going for it, and I sort of looked around. Yeah, I'm gonna see the devastation. Oh wait, there's a child there, and the kid's face. I could just remember it was sort of like, oh, Hishna or whatever. I am going to die. <laughs> and oh my god, that was definitely one of the best moments of my life. Probably not for him. It was probably one of those moments he'd rather forget. But you know, it was it was just oh god. hilarious. <laughs> Have I la laughed you out? No, you can't think of yours. Um, so I've got another one, but I sort of want to leave it for another podcast. Um, we can't pause on this. Sorry. Um, right. Okay. Basically, the other day. Um, when I are we did... talking the other day? Let's be more precise. Oh, um, I don't. Oh, it must have been a Wednesday or Thursday at some time. <laughs> it was a drizzly Wednesday. In about two weeks ago, or one one week ago, I don't know. Oh, it was the day before your birthday. When was that? 
my birthday was That was, was the first day. Yeah, yeah Thursday. Thursday. Um, so that was 20th of December. Mm. So no can stalk him. Um, yeah, and basically, because um, I do dancing at Bird College, um, like, it, it's a holiday, so I was trying to practice in my living room. And um, I, I, like, I didn't move, because we've got like a coffee table in the middle. I didn't move it out. So... And then I was trying to do pirouettes, which were turns. I was trying to do four. Any ballet fans we have, you know. I was trying to do four. Freaking tweet and me. <laughs> I didn't have enough room, so I, did, so I didn't push off properly. And I got around three and three quarters, and I, f I tripped over my foot, fell back, and like, or, like on our TV, like in our living room, we got three, three glass shelves and TV sits on. It's basically like a supporting unit. Yeah. And, um, and, uh, yeah, and then. I fell over and my hand whacked it. I sat on it and then fell off and smashed my head. So three impacts on this thing. Yeah, and it completely smashed everywhere, like everywhere. And I was thinking to myself, oh shit, what have I done? He comes screaming down and says, what the fuck do you think you've done, you arsehole? I did not say that. I think I was a little bit more concerned. <laughs> well, you said something about me being an arsehole anyway, so... Well, probably, then, um, but, you know, I don't, I don't think I went then, quite that far. And then, uh, so then I told him, and then um, and he, he, he tried to, like, help me uh, clean it up, but then I told him I hit my head, and he was like, oh, you better sit down, you better sit down, you can't be doing this, can't be doing this. I was trying to be helpful, but... Yes, it yes was... I know, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. looking back, it must have been bloody hilarious. Hilarious. Just you say if you're a spectator outside the window and just did this a puree or whatever the hell go incredibly wrong. Bang, bang, bang. Just, just, um, but yeah. it was reinforced safety glass, and what happened was it just shattered yeah. everywhere into and these then, tiny, like, and, tiny pieces. And, and my mum was out of work. Uh, was out of work this time, so like mm. it was all alright. And then um, uh, so then oh my god, what's happened to my head? So anyway, we were cleaning it up, and it was all cleaned up, and then uh. Like, well, it wasn't all cleaned up, but like most of it's cleaned up. And Alex sat back, and there was a piece of glass. It like samurai'd his hands. There's blood all over the carpet. I blood all over the walls of every room that I entered, where I had to <laughs> require to turn on a light switch. Basically. And then I had a cut all down there. Do I still have it? There and you go. it was. I don't think. Yeah, look, see, there's that right there. It was very deep. I know I sound like a wimp, but it was deep. Um, yeah. So then, um, so I had to clean the carpet. I had to like shampoo it and then vacuum. Um, I had to clean up all the glass, put it in the glass bin outside, so it like kept on making me go in and out, in and out. Um, and then I had to like, like make sure that everything was looking like normal. My <laughs> mum came home, and then this retard goes, "Lizzie, make sure you tell her." Not really. I think she that she came in. She's like, well, it "Tell me." It broke it, so. And then she's like, "Tell me what." So anyway, I, had, I, I took her into lunch and I was like, look, uh, because like there's usually three shelves. And she was like... Usually three shelves on this case. And, and, and there was two. And she's like, what am I looking at? And I was like, can't you see? And she's like, I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> the funny thing so is, then I was you, like, look you... at the shelves. And she's yeah, like, yeah, what's wrong with it? And I was like, there used to be three. And she's like, yeah, why is that there now two? I was like, are you absolutely retarded? Obviously I broke it. <laughs> yeah, but the funny thing is, if you left it, Maybe if I hadn't been such a jerk and just told you to tell her, we should have seen how long it would have taken her yeah, to see. Yeah, but it was a safety hazard because of the thing. Oh, yeah, because there were, like... Basically, there were four pillars that held it up, that sort of triangulated. Oh, no, four pillars triangulated. And where it shattered, because it was held up by these pillars, there were jagged pieces of glass that were still attached to these four pillars. Oh. And if anyone had brushed past, you know, their leg would have been, you know, torn off or whatever. Yeah, so... <laughs> I um I got a bit of a telling off for that. Um, it was, it, you know, looking back, it must have been bloody was, funny. But at the it time, was funny, it was very but serious. I was just literally like, I did it, and I stood there for about ten seconds, thinking, "What the fuck have I done?" It was, it was, it was quite, it was quite funny. And, um, so bad. Yeah, funny time. I guess now it's a good time to move on to the four best things of the week. So we're going to go on to a film. We both decided because we went to the go and impossible. see it. The impossible. We went to go and see it Wednesday. That big tsunami. It was it was very 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 good. Um, with who's the guy who plays Obi Wan Kenobi? Ewan McGregor. Ewan McGregor. He played um, the dad of this family of five who have been swept away by this uh, by this tsunami, and then they were separated, and then they keep on getting separated because there was this one really ironic scene where the child was standing next to the mother, and her leg was she, she was. She was uh, worried about it going all the colours of the rainbow. 
apart from black, because black is bad, they have to be decapitated and stuff. Decapitated, sorry, lopped off. Um, and um, he said, in this really emotional part that did bring a lump to my throat, said, uh, okay, you, you know, don't, you promise me you won't, won't move, and then the mother was all, um, sort of like, bitch, please. <laughs> My leg's about to fall off. I don't think I'm going anywhere. And actually, he goes, comes back, and then she's gone, and there's this douchebag being put in her place. Um, app of... We, we were still stuck on the app of the week. I think yeah. we're going to go with... The, well, I'm going to suggest one, Pocket God. The recent That's update. Poppy. No, it's good. With all the, with the new recent update, there's a disco What's mode not? that I can't track down. It's because not. It, Okay. Um, all right. Uh, I think this thing here called Subway Surfer. It's like a better version of Temple Run, and you basically you're like you're you're this boy. You're, you're running a hooligan. Along. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> basically, you're in trouble with the police, and you're the speed, and you're this boy like rug, like running along, and you're on like these railway tracks, and then you can like jump on the trains or run along and collect coins and stuff. It's really good. Yes, because naturally in America, including dangerous trains, there's just gold coins lying around all over the track. No, but it's really good. So I think that, and Alex thinks Pocket God. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So we've done film. We've done app. I'm going to say TV program. Of the what was the other one we had to do? Shit. Me. <laughs> uh, game. That's it. Game. I'm going to say with game Mass Effect or Trials. No, Trials Evolution. Trials Minecraft. E Trials Evolution. The new DLC just Drag came out. out. If you're not familiar with Trials Evolution, it's like a, a motorbiking game. With a series of tracks that you have to do. It's not necessarily 2D, but you can't go around the bike yet. You can only see one from one angle. Um, and then TV show of the week. We've gone with The Big Bang Theory, which is still going through its, what's, fourth, fifth season? Mm, I think so, yeah. Yeah, well, well I think tweet us if we're wrong. No, because, you know, actually, you he thinks Big Bang Theory, I think Made in Chelsea. Well, yeah, you would. Or some girls, but some girls isn't. I don't know whether it's being major or I don't know. Okay, well I'm gonna go with another bar embarrassing story to end this podcast. Embarrassing story number two from my side. Um, Elizabeth and I, we've gone to two holidays in Greece. Two holidays in Greece, um, and well, no, sorry, not two holidays in Greece. We've gone to two holidays to major sort of places um, abroad. Abroad, one to Malta and one to Greece. And on both occasions, I've seemed to have projectile vomiting. <laughs> so on the second occasion, because the first occasion wasn't really that spectacular, first second occasion, we were in Greece, and they had a load of buffets. The first buffet you had to go to I was... I thought Malta was really good. I thought it was better than Greece. Yeah, but the projectile vomiting oh, in Greece oh. was better than Malta. Oh, I see. Um, so basically, you had two places where you went, I think two places. Weren't there two places you had to go for the um, buffet, one breakfast time and one in... Yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, it was, it was dinner time. And uh, the buffet was extraordinary. They had shrimp, because they basically had a, a buffet oh, for yeah, different, I yeah, for yeah, different I countries. Like, they had a, a different dishes from different countries. Mm. And I think this one was just, like, shrimp and crap. <laughs> shrimp and crap. Um, so I naturally helped myself to about three plates full, and then oh, every I remember that. but oh. then every single day, no matter what country they were doing, they had this massive sort of freezer of ice cream. Yeah. And yeah. there were about four flavors. I can't remember what the fourth one was because you only had strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate, and then the other one was probably exotic banana, pineapple slash monkey turd. Um, so. I basically helped myself to every single flavour and then sprinkles and then sauces and uh, the works. And um, we got back to the hotel and mum knew heard that there was a concert going on. You could basically see the tent in the distance because we had like a higher up um, apartment thingy moving. -me. And you could see the um, you could see the thing in the distance. And so I, but I started to get a stomach ache. So I was sitting, and it was like one of those really. Sort of, it looked like hell. I don't know why the room. It was a white room with this one fan, one of those one ceiling fans. So you just saw that turning, and then I said to my mum, "Mum, my insides are going to come out." <laughs> so what she did was she took me to the toilet, and I don't know why, but I sit, I sat on the toilet and threw up on the floor. <laughs> I remember that made me throw up. 
throw up that night as well. Did it? <laughs> I don't remember because I was I just sitting with my head buried in my cushion because I was just absolutely destroyed by it. And then naturally, by like the rest of the trip, I just couldn't eat anything. Well, nothing substantial. Oh, my God, I remember the most embarrassing thing, yeah. All right, well, let's go with yours. Sorry. Um, no, I've been on holiday um, with my friend Leah. Shout out for Leah. Hey, Leah. Yeah. Um, Shout like, out on the most unimpressive twice now, channel. Like, two summers. Um, and last summer, we went to Devon. And they had this tour rack hotel, I think. I'm not, anyway, I don't know why, we, I'm, I'm, why I'm, I'm nodding no, along, because I have no idea no, what's we, going on. No, we had uh, our own house. It, not me and Leah, her family, me and Leah. Um, yeah, we had our own house. So we, anyway, we went to the um, swimming pool at the Torak, and it was heated inside. And anyway, oh um, my gosh! And and it was amazing. <laughs> like there was it, it was it was amazing. Like there was a spa and stuff, and the pool was just so lovely. Anyway, um, and because it was a private one, but we managed to sneak in. Um, hang on, there's Whoa. a hair on the screen. Um, anyway, um... <laughs> a private one? Um, and you snuck in? Whoa, criminals. No, and anyway, um, yeah, and, uh, and, and you know how, like, you leave your towels, um... Oh, so you were one of those stupid sunbed reservers, like the ones in the in-betweeners, except no, they were disabled. No, no, it wasn't the sunbed thing, it was just a bench. And you but left. you reserved it with your towel? No, you didn't have to sit down in it, it was a bench for towels. So you put oh, your towels, right, sorry. And you got out, you could drive. Okay. Yeah, anyway. So we put our towels on the bench. And when I got out, I just... I, di I didn't really look. I just saw it was my towel. Like, picked it up, put it around me. That was it. Anyway, I walked um, back to the changing room to get changed. And, um, yeah. And then... So we were walking back. And then when I got to the changing rooms, like, I kind of dropped my towel because I, like, I was going to dry my legs. And Leah was like, Lizzie? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, you've got shit up your leg. And I was like, what? <laughs> and I looked around, it was all up my leg, on my bum, all up my back. And I was like, what has gone that on here? Like, seriously, How what did that? you do that in a place that's 90% water? No, and that's the thing. And she was like, have you shit yourself, Lizzie? I was like, I don't actually know. Like, <laughs> How can you not know? <laughs> well, because, no, what? I don't know, though. I didn't feel myself doing it. And I was like, and I was like no, but, no, but there were fair, people like, sitting on the bench. So I don't know whether thing. it was maybe like a baby had just gone and shit itself on my towel or whatever <laughs> I don't know so um and then we kept on thinking paper, thing. like oh it, like like whether it was the hot water that made people's like shit just like really runny and maybe <laughs> someone had sat on my towel and just fell out of you jump <laughs> so, anyway, so did you ever actually find out what happened no but I don't know. So what did um, you do? Go and wash yourself? Well, again? no, because... I, didn't, I assume you didn't drive yourself with a towel, because that'd be like rubbing a chocolate stain no. into a floor. No, because I had to... Um, I, I, I literally sat in the sink and was just washing myself. You and sat in a sink? I sat in well, the that sink. must be really oh, nice for oh, someone who was, oh, like, washing oh, their face. another thing. It was all inside, like, that bit of my bikini. Oh. So I always hadn't done it myself, because it was at the side, but, like, <laughs> that, that's as, nice as I've been see. rubbing, that's it someone gone else's there. crap. Exactly, and it, it like, it did it... Did it smell? <laughs> Yeah, but it didn't smell like mine. Like, no, but, no, but, no, but you know... This is someone it... who can identify every single bodily function purely by smell. No, anyway. Um, yeah, so, then, like, like, people kept on walking in, just staring at me, like, shit on my leg. I was like, hey. Um, this is chocolate, I assure you, this is chocolate. And um, so I, I had to throw away that towel. Um, I couldn't throw away my bikini because I only had like I, I took two with me, so I only had one. There's left. another embarrassing bikini story that you could put on. Remember the one in Malta? Don't say it now, but oh yeah, 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 yeah. Put that one on the next podcast. Um, Sorry, go on. Yeah, and um, yeah, and oh my god, it was so embarrassing. It, it sounds, it oh sounds, my. it sounds it pretty was amazing. Absolutely horrible. Anyway, that's the end of our podcast. <laughs> I meant to say that. Wow. End of our podcast. Um, I just have enough time to say... Do you want to say your Facebook account? Let's go so people can contact you and spam no, you thank with you. emails. Okay. I'm Alex Ridgely. On my Twitter. Yeah, go on then. I'll give you my Twitter. Uh, wait for it. Oh, you can't see it, can you? Will that screen flick around? That's basically Alex Ridgely with a space. Alex in capital A and Ridgely in capital R. Give me a second. Give me a second. Oh, oh when we... Because my computer basically had a hissy fit on me. So I That's had... at Lizzie Ridgely and then a capital X after it. Basically, my computer had a issue fit, so I'd be doing it on this iPad. But 
Um, we'll hopefully re resume to maybe two cameras so you can flip between two more interesting um, camera shots. Any questions you have, leave a tweet on either of our Twitters and we'll answer them in the next podcast. Any issues you have with this podcast, be sure to put it in any bin. You don't just find it around your local area. Or flash it down the toilet or whatever because this is our first podcast so it's not going to be great. Okay, thanks for watching and we hope to see you uh, or see your views next time around. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Bye.